Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel, House to Home. In today's video, I'm doing the second part of my Christmas home tour, which will be my outdoor area and front porch. So I'm really excited to share it with you. But before we get into the tour, I wanted to share with you some new outdoor lighting that I just recently installed. These are the E to Shine permanent outdoor lights. And I don't know if you're very familiar with these, but they're lights that look like little discs that you can pretty much line your whole house with and you can keep them up all year round and use them for different holidays and seasons. So I got, I unboxed them and I got a lot cause I have a wraparound porch and each section just kind of plugs into each other, which is nice. So depending on how much you need, you might need to add a set or take one off. And then on one end, it plugs in. And again, like I said, they're like little discs. And what's really cool about them is on the back, there's this red like sticker that you just peel it off and there's a really strong adhesive. So you just stick it right to your house and it makes it really easy to install. And if you live in like really cold climates and you find that they're not staying, they also give little clips and screws that you can have more reinforcement when attaching them to your house. So I already put a couple up. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. Like I said, you just peel the little red sticker off of the one side. Sorry, I'm having a little difficulty because I'm filming with one hand here. But see, as you can see, they're just really, um, it's like a nice little thick sticker on the back. And I'm up on my ladder and I'm just kind of making sure that the cord is laying flat and flush up against the house. And then when you have it lined up in a perfect spot, you just push and just really like give it a firm grip until it's stuck on to the house. So here is a look of what they look like installed. I have them going all around the porch and I, they do come with the remote control, which you can see on here, you can change them from red, green, blue, warm white or cool white. And you can also adjust the different modes. You can change the brightness, you can make them blink, lots of cool features. And I currently do not have Wi-Fi at my house, but if you did, you will be able to connect that to these lights and it will allow you to have many more options and choices of color modes and basically just make it like a light show. Like there are so many different options, which I think that is awesome. I just, unfortunately, I can't do that at the moment. So I'm just stuck using the remote, but even still, um, when I get the internet, I'll be really excited to try that out. But now we're gonna start the home tour. Um, I'm gonna first show you um, how those lights look on the porch. And with the modes that are on the remote, I'm gonna show you how I can change them. So right now I just have them on a red setting. I still hung my icicles up for Christmas because I don't know, I'm just so used to them and I just felt like my house needed them. Um, but for all the other holidays, I will be happy happy just having the lights up but I just changed them to green and look how different it makes the porch look just switching it from red to green um, it they really are bright and they really add a nice color to your porch here's it in the blue setting which is also really beautiful and I like that if I want to change them to an, a random color every night I can and change it up this is the warm white um, again, they're all beautiful, but I decided that this time I was just going to make it a solid red. This is a, um, mode where you can make it flash and blink switching colors. It goes from red to blue to white. 
So like I said, so many options, and this is just using the remote control. If you do connect it to Wi-Fi, you'll be able to do so many more different settings. And if I wasn't alone and I wasn't um, afraid to go up on a ladder, I would definitely put these on the top of my house as well. Maybe I'll hire someone and I'll do that for next year. But overall, I love these lights. I think they're going to look so good for all the holidays. So I will have them linked down below in my description box um, if you're looking for something that you don't have to fuss with and just keep you know changing the colors and not hanging up new lights for every holiday then these are definitely a great investment so yeah um I was going to just play some Christmas music and show you guys around but there are a couple other things that I got new this year that I wanted to talk about the first thing that I changed up was I kind of made like an archway here coming up my porch. I wrapped it all with garland and I just put some gingerbread men that I got from Hobby Lobby and painted. They were like in the craft section of the Christmas stuff. And then I just put some peppermints and bows and I just attached them all to the garland. And the snowflakes, they were from Ross last year, I believe. But I love how this turned out. I was trying to make the front kind of more of like a gingerbread candy land sort of theme so i thought those would be a nice way to start out the tour when you're coming up right on the porch this merry christmas sign i got at a yard sale this summer this gingerbread house doormat i got this from home goods and then on my door, I have a wreath. I have one on each of my doors that I've had for many, many years. They were from Walmart, and I just put some battery-operated lights and attached that wooden tree to the side. And then this is probably my favorite addition this year. I got this nutcracker from Walmart. It was just solid white. And I don't know if you guys, you know, are familiar with like the craze of buying these nutcrackers and making them over, but that is what I did. It took me about two weeks, but I painted this. I wanted it to be a peppermint, um, red and pink theme. So a lot of hours of labor just painting it and needed so many coats. And then I just had a lot of fun with it. I embellished it with the peppermints. I connected the lollipop to his, make it look like he was holding it. And I just had a blast doing this. It was such a fun project. And I love that you can customize them and make them your own. And then they do light up and play music, which is another fun thing about it. But I will put that on closer to Christmas. The music can be a little annoying. It's like the Nutcracker theme song. Um, but anyway, these gingerbread men, I got them at home. They're blow molds. And then this house, I was on the hunt for this for a few years. I never could find it. And then this year I walk into home goods and there it was. So you knew that was coming home with me. I absolutely love it. I think it goes great with my whole little gingerbread theme on this side of the porch. And I thought it would be a good idea to keep my rockers and my table out this year. That way I had something to rest it all on and I wouldn't have to worry about things blowing over or having to prop them up. Uh, this tree here, this is from Walmart. It's another blow mold. It is like a waffle cone tree and there's gumdrops and cookies all over it. And I just think it's so cute. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it's battery operated. So it's kind of a pain. You have to keep coming out and turning it on and off. But other than that, I think it's adorable. My wooden snowflakes I've had for many years. I've got them at craft fairs. Um, a lot of people just like hand make them, like they cut them out and stuff. And I just think they're beautiful. And I will probably continue to put those out for many, many years to come. The sign I think was from Hobby Lobby. It's reversible. There's a snowman on the back. And as you can see, it's a really windy night, but uh, these large ornaments, they're all from Hobby Lobby. They're inflatable. I didn't see them this year, but I got them last year. 
And then if you're familiar with my porch tours, you know about this truck. It is actually a fire pit and I just decorate it. So I stuck a tree inside of it that lights up. Another one of those handmade snowflakes. And then this polar bear, I got this many, many years ago from Target. I think I got him after Christmas. So I got him on a pretty good sale and he's held up so beautifully. One of my favorites. And then I got another blow mold this year. This gingerbread man holding the candy cane inside the cup of hot cocoa. He was a hard one to find. I kept checking walmart.com. They were always out of stock. And then one day there it was and I quick added to cart and bought it and I was so happy to finally get my hands on them. Over here I've had these deer for many years. They are also from Target. I got them after Christmas. I think like 50% off at least. And then the sleigh ride sign I got from a collab I did with a company a few years ago off of Etsy. And then this wreath was from Hobby Lobby. I got this for 80% off after Christmas. And I love all the lights on it. There's so many. And then I just added a bow. These light up gifts. These were from at home a few years back. Uh, they hard to keep together. The lids fall off like when you're trying to store them and all. But they really do look beautiful when you set them up. And then this wooden Santa, I got him, I believe it was a yard sale or a thrift store. Same with the snowman, he was from a yard sale. And another one of those snowflakes. And then on this door, another one of the Walmart wreaths with just some more lights wrapped around it. And that is pretty much it. Um, I tried to bring the icicles all the way over to this side of the porch just to give it some more light. And then up at the top in all of my bedroom windows, I just have these window snowflakes that I got from Big Lots, I believe two years ago. They might still have them. But that is it. I'm just going to give you guys one more look around. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and you got some inspiration for your outside decorating and you like all of the changes that I made this year. Again, if you're looking for some permanent outdoor lighting, definitely check out the Edith Shine lights. They are perfect and very convenient for the any decorator who doesn't want to have to keep changing their lights for all of the holidays so again that's linked down below and follow me over on instagram at house to home underscore xoxo so you don't miss any of my future videos my next video will be continuing with the third part of my christmas home tour and if you missed my last video showing you how i did my christmas bedroom then definitely check it out and until that next video i will see you guys then